So I'm just going to do a very quick session on how to use Google Meet to set up an, um, a meeting. So Google Meet is the um, Google's answer to Zoom, where you can use it um, for holding club meetings or committee meetings or any online meeting. At the moment, most of you are in lockdown. And um, to have a Zoom license, to have Zoom, you can use Zoom in your clubs quite easily, but um, you do, if you want to have a meeting more than 45 minutes, you have to have a paid subscription. So Inner World New Zealand has the one paid subscription, which is what we use here for these meetings. But the rest of the time we use Google Meet and that comes as a free facility with your Google account through your Google Workspace, Workspace account from the club. So I'm going to share my screen again. I'm going to go to um, the training account. So any of the accounts in the Inner World New Zealand account are on Google Workspace and you can use Meet. There are a couple of ways to do this. First is you can go using the nine dots in the corner. You can go to your calendar. And when the calendar is open, I'm just going to view it by the month. So you select the date. So we are on the 1st of September. So tomorrow, I want to have a Club Google Meet. So I just click on the day to start with, and I will give it a title. So it'll be a, a club meeting. Oops. Um, then I click add time and let's say five, oh no, we'll have it later because we'll go 7 p.m. And it automatically sets it for an hour. So you can choose if you want an hour's meeting, just set it for an hour. If you go over the hour, then that's fine because it won't kick you off. Um, and you can go less than an hour and that's fine because you just stop the meeting then anyway. Then you go down here. So you've set your date and your time. Then you go down to where it says add guests. And that's where you start typing in the email addresses of everyone you want to invite to that meeting. Um, and so then it starts populating all of them. I'm using these people because I know it's safe that I can that the, these emails will arrive. Now you'll see that because M2 Atkinson is outside of the IWNZ account, so a little star appears by her name. So that will happen with all of your club members, and that's fine. It's just that it's somebody that's outside of the organization. Now, so you've set up your meeting, you've set up your um, your session, you've invited. You put added in there the list of the people that you want to send. And you'll see automatically on Google Calendar, it comes up with join with Google Meet. So you don't need to do anything. All you do is you put in the title, the time, and the people you want to invite. Then you press save. It then asks you, would you like to send invitation emails to Google Calendar guests? And used choose to send then the same thing guests from outside your organization yes you want to invite all guests so now if i was to go to my um president's gmail account you will see that I have now received an invitation to the club meet. So it tells me that I've been invited to the following event, join with Google Meet. Uh, and I can RSVP and say, yes, I'm going to attend. So you can then see who's going and who's not. So I'll say yes, or I'll click here, yes and that's sent an RSVP. And that has now gone into my calendar. So now as the 
as president and I go into my calendar, I can see oh, 7 p.m. tomorrow night. I open my calendar. There it is. I'll join the meeting. And I can see that um, training is going and I'm going. So I can see who has RSVP'd and who hasn't. Then I can just join the meeting. Is it not showing? Oh, okay. I've just heard that um, I'm not, it's not showing for you. I will go back. Apologies. Is this now showing? Um, okay. So that was, I showed you how it was, if I, but you couldn't see that I went into, um, I was the recipient and that it appeared in my calendar. Now as training and I've sent that, it's sitting here at 7 p.m. there is a meeting. So on the meeting I can see here that president has RSVP'd and that um, I'm still awaiting for these two others. But if I want, want to start that meeting, I just go join with Google Meet and then it will start and open up the meeting. Now you notice that um, it's not even um it's not even that time but it started because it doesn't matter it's going to start the meeting whenever you start it and you can see when you go into um into this that um you can see under the heading for the meeting it says no one is he else is here so you can see if there are people waiting or there are people going into it on the top right hand corner, you can see who you have entered that in. So I know that I'm there under training. Um, if I had gone, what you will quite often find on your personal accounts is that you'll click on a link in your calendar to go to a meeting and then it will bring you up as your own personal account. So you just switch accounts to whichever one you, uh, you want to be seen as um, when you are in the meeting so you can then join it so it starts and it, it might try for a while because the camera and everything is already um, is already in use um, but I'm sitting there on my own in this meeting now. And just like on Zoom, as other people arrive, then they will arrive. At the bottom of the screen is where you have your turn on your mic on or off your microphone. Your camera can get turned on and off. I like this little button here that says raise a hand. So if you raise your hand, then the person that's running the meeting can see that you've raised a hand and you want to say something. Then there is a little button for present now. So if you are presenting on this, you can present your screen like I'm presenting to you now. If you go to present now and then it asks you to choose what tab you have open or what, um, what window or you are using on your computer. So you can... Um, I can do, I can share my screen basically the same as what I'm doing on Zoom. So it comes up as a shared screen and then it has a little button down the bottom here where I can stop sharing the screen. Um, again, the little, everywhere you see the three dots, that means there's more information behind it. So you can, if you want to, what they call cast a meeting. If you use Chromecast on the TV, you can cast up onto the big TV. You can change your layout, just like on Zoom, change your layout, how people look. You can enter and exit full screen. You can change, put captions on, play with the backgrounds where you've got people that have got virtual backgrounds behind them and all sorts of things, exactly the same as Google. And then at the end of the meeting, when you're finished, uh, yeah, over here, you can see everyone that's on the meeting. You can chat just like on Zoom. So it does all the same features as what happens on Zoom. They're all here on Meet and it's free and it can last, you can have meetings for over an hour. And then when you finish, you just hang up on the red button. 
So that was a very quick introduction to how to use Google Meet. I'm going to stop recording now.